In this video, I want to talk about two types of lines, horizontal lines and vertical lines. First, horizontal lines. Uh, okay, here we have the graph of a horizontal line, and let's just take a look at it. Uh, the y-intercept I see is 4. The slope, huh. Now, usually, what I do to calculate the slope is I look at the change in y divided by the change in x. Um, that's, uh, that's weird on this one because the change in y doesn't seem to be changing. In every single point on this line, the point 0, 4, the point 1, 4, the point 2, 4, the point 3, 4, y is the exact same in every single point. So uh, there would be no change at all. So what I'm finding is, no matter what two points I look at, the change in y is going to be 0, and the change in x is going to be something. Let's go from 0, 4 to 1, 4. So the change in x is 1. OK? Well, 0 divided by 1, I think I know what that is. And that's 0. And so how would I write the equation of this line? Well, we have y equals mx plus b. Uh, I already know what my uh, y-intercept is. It was the point 0, 4, so b is 4. And I know what the slope is. The slope is 0. So I could write y equals 0 times x plus 4. But 0 times x is just 0. And so 0 plus 4 is just 4. So the whole thing boils down to y equals 4. That's my equation of this line. And actually, that makes sense. Because if you look at what all the points on this line have in common with each other, the y-coordinate is 4. OK. So if the y-coordinate is 4, we'll just write y equals 4. OK. So horizontal lines, the two things that I want you to come away with are horizontal lines have a slope of 0. And the equation for the line is always y equals, and then just a constant whatever the y-coordinate happens to be. Now let's look at vertical lines. With a vertical line, like this one, well first off, it's a little difficult to find the y-intercept because there is no y-intercept. This line is parallel with the y-axis, which means it's never going to intersect the y-axis. So that's a problem to start with. <laughs> that's, I'm not sure how we're going to write this in y equals mx plus b form if there is no b. Uh, I mean, it's not that b is 0. There is no b. B, is, b doesn't exist. So uh, what can we do instead? Well, um, let's look at the slope. And let's say we're going to go from this point right here, the point 3, 0, to the point 3, 0. 2. Okay? These are two points that are on my line. 3, 0 and 3, 2. Well, I see that my change in y is went from 0 to 2, so the change in y is 2. And the change in x is, well, x didn't change, so it's 0. So we have 2 divided by 0. Very few things you can't do in arithmetic, but one of them is divide by 0. So we got a problem here. Uh, it's impossible to divide, to divide anything by zero. So what that tells me is there's no slope either. Okay? And again, when I say there's no slope, that doesn't mean the slope is zero. That means the slope is undefined. Okay? There is no defined number that will make this work. So we say the slope is undefined. All right, well, if the slope is undefined and the y-intercept is also undefined, uh, <laughs> the slope-intercept form sure isn't going to work, so I'm going to have to find some other way of writing this line. Well, remember how with horizontal lines, what the, lot, what the points all had in common was their y-coordinate was always 4? What do the points here all have in common? Their x-coordinate. The x-coordinate is always going to be 3. There's your formula. x equals 3. 
That's the equation for this uh, vertical line here. Okay? And that's what the equation of any vertical line is going to look like. X equals a constant, and that constant being whatever the X coordinate happens to be.